The human experience is defined by a thirst, an unquenchable thirst, a burning in the belly, a thirst for meaning. What do we mean when we talk about meaning? <laughs> we have an autobiographical mind. We live by a mythology. We see our lives in the context of a symbolic systems of identifications and affiliations and definitions. We are a story. And when we talk about meaning, we want the story to have a purpose, to have a plot, to have consummation, consecration, to overcome odds, to slay dragons, to learn from the obstacles that we slay, to come back somebody who can then teach and bestow the knowledge to somebody else. I mean, we are hungry for signification. We are starved for a sense that we matter, a sense that it's for something, a sense that in the end, <laughs> ashes to ashes, dust to dust, has some semblance of something, something behind it. This is what we mean by meaning. The human condition is a bit absurd. We are a miracle. We are the miracle. The miracle. The miracle. The miracle. Divinity in flesh and blood. Divinity incarnate. And yet in the end, we are food for worms. We wither away. We witness our own withering. This is horrendous. This is a death sentence. And yet, we're here. We're alive. What might we do? What can we do? What will we do? Therein lies the challenge. Therein lies the search. The search, as the novel The Moviegoer said, is what anyone would undertake if he were not stuck in the everydayness of his or her own life. To be aware of the possibility of the search is to be on to someone. Not to be on to something, is to be in despair, is to be in a state of paralyzing anxiety. So, you know, go out there. Go out there. Take the journey. Go on the search. Be a seeker.